So you forgot your password. Yeah, I did the exact same thing. And this method is born out of necessity because I wanted to open it. And uh, the one video I watched uh, wasn't a solution for me. Um, and to show you kind of how this works, I'm gonna actually open it first and then take out one ring to show you how the method works. Okay, so basically what we're doing in here is we have this uh, inner cylinder with all these little bumps on it, and then the ring that has uh, this groove on it, which this one is matched up with the letter X because I changed the password. And what we're doing for each one of these is essentially um, we're going to put pressure on it, so we're pushing it like up the, the cylinder and we're basically going to rotate it until we find find a slightly looser position. You'll feel it, and that will be where it's not rubbing against the ring edge, and it's actually lined up with the hole because it'll get much easier. the The trick is you have to be constantly be applying a pressure uh, towards the opening on the different rings. So let me show you what it looks like in action. I'm going to put this back together real quick. Okay, <clears throat> so I've got it together, I'm gonna scramble it up. And for this method, I actually take this little, uh, whoops, take this piece off, and I take this piece off, and then I put this piece back on. It's not necessary, but it does help with, because um, you're constantly trying to apply pressure this way to pull those nubs against the edge of these rings. And so, Oddly enough, I tried starting on the left side, but apparently the nubs inside of here on this inner cylinder were rubbing more firmly on some of the middle ones. And so I figured out those letters first and then worked out from there. So for instance, if I find where, and this gets really tricky to do with one person, but if I push it back in, everything spins freely, but if I pull it out and apply pressure by squeezing it, kind of contracting my hand here, the things get really hard to turn. And so I do it kind of like this and kind of use this two finger method of pulling out. And then not so hard that it's impossible. Um, but see, this one is just kind of, there are some light spots, but there's a couple of them, so I couldn't really tell on that one. So I think I actually started on this third one. And by applying pressure out, oops, I should probably get to the arrow, huh? Still f squeezing with my right hand. I'm trying to, there, I felt it release right there because I know there's pressure on that and now I can feel if I try to twist it this way it kind of bumps something and it's loose right here and I go that way and it bumps something. Now you wouldn't notice this if this was pushed in just a hair it just spins freely but it's that outward pressure that now and you kind of have to pull outward pressure and maybe stabilize some of these others all at the same time and now I can feel even with my eyes closed which is how I actually figured it out so I could feel it without being biased towards letters that I was searching for. I can feel it rocks back and forth between that. So I know that one is a T. And then once I have that one, I kind of lock that one with my fingers. There's probably a better way to do this. Um, that one really doesn't want to turn. Oh, that one's actually already in place. That's why. If I release the pressure, it spins freely. I'm going to put pressure on it. Leave this one at T, because I know that one is a T, and kind of squeeze it with these fingers now. And now I'm just kind of spinning it while this finger down here is kind of pulling the, the cylinder outwards. And it's a kind of a tough turn. And there. I don't know if you could hear that, but it kind of let go. And now when I rock back and forth, it's stuck in there and so I know between this hard edge and that hard edge the A is right in the middle so I know it's AT um, 
And this one I'm pulling out with this uh, ring finger back here. And this one still spins freely, which is why I had to do that one, one of the last ones, which means one of the other ones must be preventing it from coming out. So this one spins way too freely. I'm, I'm still pulling outwards here. So if I leave my A and T and pull out and this still spins too freely, we're gonna come back to that one because it must be spinning on something more difficultly. Uh, oh, there it is. There's just a little friction there. I can feel it. It kind of jams up there. Again, still pulling out here. And it jams right there. I can feel it all of a sudden. It's like, oh, I got to really squeeze and turn. And then right here, I can like easily move it, still applying pressure. So I know that R, rocking between those two, that R is the one that I want. So I know it's something A, T, R. Um, and if I rock these, or I'm um, sorry, apply pressure here. I'm gonna kind of swing through this. And again, I did this with my eyes closed, so I wasn't biased and I can spin there. I just felt it release kind of, like it's not rubbing on anything anymore. And there I rock back and forth and I can feel it's easy in the middle here. So I know that's actually an eye. Um, and then we know there's this one. We know these are all in that little gap so it's going to be rubbing on this ring or that ring. And so you just find one that feels hard, and this one feels pretty hard. Actually, they both do. Um, let me do this first one. And this I'm going to kind of squeeze and use uh, these underneath fingers here to kind of make, keep that constant pressure and also lock these other rings in place so they're not spinning around. Um, and so again, I'm just going to close my eyes with this pressure applied and squeeze and turn, squeeze, oh, there, I felt it. Rocks here, rocks to there, rocks to here and there, has to be an M. And so <laughs> what I actually did was, I don't think I had the eye. I, I put in a, a word finder in Google and you can put in like M-A-T-R and then asterisk, asterisk, and look in the six letter category. And I thought, yep, the only one of the two words that came up was matrix. Ta da ish. There we go. There we go. And this is one of those cryptexes from Amazon, I think. They're like $25 on Amazon um, that I got as a gift. And I promptly changed the password and didn't write it down or put it in my phone. So. Hopefully this helps somebody. Um, there's other videos on how to change that password, so I'm not going to talk about that. But hopefully that helps you, and good luck.